I'm not in the best mood this holiday season. Money has been tight, and I've made some bad decisions. But I still hope I can do a nice review for you all. Hello? Patrick! Don't be late for Christmas dinner this year. I'm counting on you for this truthfully. You gotta come through. Bad news, Frank. I don't think I can afford it this year. It's about 180 bucks to have it shipped from our authentic Italian bakery back east. And I blew money on a sealed Mario 64. And then I just made an even worse decision. I invested in a bad tech product. Two years in a row without Struffoli? What's going on with you? What dumb thing did you invest in? In television. You invested in television? What's wrong with you? TVs have been around since before I was born. I got a really cheap one at Best Buy for 200 bucks and they threw in a VCR. Not in television, in television. Uh, you know what, Frank, just forget it. Always dropping the ball on the Struffoli. You stink. That kid is so dumb when it comes to technology. Oh. That reminds me, I gotta set my VCR for the Ancient Alien Holiday Special. How could I have blown all that money on a failed investment? I'm smarter than that, right? I know things. Well, there's a long story here. It all started back when I discovered a new game console idea. The Intellivision Amico. Initially, I was skeptical of a new console based upon one that was forgotten 40 years ago. I was also concerned that the CEO of this company trying to launch this game console, Tommy Tallarico, did not have the proper business experience necessary to develop and launch a viable video game console. I put out a video voicing my concerns. Guys, I have to tell you, I don't quite see the Intellivision Amico working out. It was never as popular as Atari, and uh, you know, it's just not something I see being successful. But boy, Intellivision Amico fans were not happy with that video. The NES punk! Enough is enough with this Amico hate. Don't just be a hater! I was criticized. Pat the NES punk. The height that you are pouring onto the Intellivision Amico is crazy. You have not proven yourself in the world of business in the same way that Tommy Tallarico has. Just look at net worth for a start. People like Pat the NES Punk have an axe to grind with Tommy Tallarico. I mean, have you seen his videos? Tommy Tallarico has more money than Pat. He has a mansion. Tommy Tallarico, who's up living the fat life, I was attacked. All right, so what's your hottest of hot takes there, Cupcake? I don't quite see the Intellivision Amico working out. It was never as popular as Atari and... Uh... Learn to speak, dude. Now, I know a lot about retro games, but... I... Learn to talk. Learn to speak already. You know, I just don't see it selling well today. In fact, I probably don't see them selling anything close to 1 million units. I just don't see it happening. I will pay you $200, Pat, if the Intellivision Amico does not sell over a million copies within its first year. And I've done some research on this, and it's gonna be a close call. I was even called a fraud by a very honest, totally secure and confident man. You kind of exposed yourself as a fraud. Tommy had Guinness Book of World Record plaques just sitting on the ground of his house because he didn't have room to put them up. The way you're approaching this is beyond childish and that is disgusting. Was it possible I was wrong? So I started doing my own research and I watched some great quality Amico videos from bright individuals. And it really started to tell a different story of a brilliant video game console idea. I think Intellivision Amico is gonna shock people. I think people are way underestimating Tommy and I, I, I think that is gonna shock people, how good it is. But then something crazy happens. Tommy Tallarico, the CEO of Intellivision and a veritable video game industry icon, contacted me, little old me, and said he wanted to hang out and share some insider info with me. He even picked me up in his sports car. Wow, maybe Tommy really is living that fat life. Someone picking me up in their car must mean they think I'm important and I'm special. Thanks for driving me, Tommy. You have such a great car. Having a car like this must mean you know how to run a video game company. Wow, I'm in a sports car. 
I can't be having critical thoughts right now. Does this mean we're friends now, Tommy? Then I got to tour the Intellivision offices, and I felt like a big boy. I even met Nick, the CFO. Later, we did an interview, and I fell in love with the Intellivision Amico concept. Intellivision Amico is a brand new video game console where all we care about is simple, fun to play, pick up and play games for the entire family. We want to bring video gaming back into the living room. People playing video games together in the same room? Ingenious! Tommy, since we're now officially friends, I went and I bought us two tickets to Disney on Ice. Will you tell everyone right now who's watching that you'll go with me? Uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that publicly, no. Could you at least pick me up in your Ferrari? We can go out for a pizza on me. You know, we're both East Coast Italians, paisans. Well, that, that's a silly question. <laughs> so I ended up going to Disney on ice alone, but then a great idea hit me. There's money to be made. I could invest in the Intellivision Amico. This is a disruptor. I could get in early. I mean, a lot of YouTubers were saying the Amico was a great idea and YouTubers are never wrong about this stuff. This console looks really cool. It's driving me even closer to really wanting to buy the system when it gets released. There is steak with that sizzle, I'm here to tell you. It is absolutely freaking awesome, guys. They have a team of amazing people behind the console. Just having Tommy behind the Intellivision Amico gives me a lot of confidence in it. So I'm really excited about the Intellivision Amico. And I think the Amico's gonna be a hit. I mean, I think they're gonna make a lot of people interested in this system. And it's going to become the best-selling console of all time. People will line up to buy it. Sign me the heck up. The yeah, Amico, I believe uh, it's going to be amazing. And television's there and it's going to get popular because of that reason, because everyone's going to say, you know, F the man, dude, check out Amico. <laughs> mm. Mm, so sexy, getting so pumped up for this, guys. It's going to blow their minds. This thing is going to sell like gangbusters. I'm excited, I am on Team Amico. It's like, it's such a cool idea, right? But I was still on the fence. But do you know what settled it? Remember that nice guy who called me a fraud? Turns out that he invested $10,000 in the Amico and he's a straight shooter and super smart and stable. The guy even sold the shirt off his back to afford the investment. That's dedication. This should prove all those haters wrong. I love this thing. I put $10,000 cash into the project. So I thought maybe I should put in my money too. So I set up a meeting with Nick, the Intellivision CFO, to ask him some final questions before giving over my money. We are operating in a very niche market at the moment. It will probably over the next, you know, couple of years have very little impact on everything else going on in the gaming industry, so. I'm a bit more optimistic. I think selling Amicos will be as easy as shooting prairie dogs in a barrel. People can have an opinion that this thing is stupid and sucks. That's fine. Um, but don't, don't try to censor other people um, who have their opinions. It's just not, not cool, and I, I just hope that we don't see more of that. I certainly agree with that, Nick. We should all be open to criticism and others' opinions. By the way, does that door behind you say Amico Hater Dungeon? It's just, it's crazy. But for some reason, I still wasn't comfortable in investing. But I felt crazy because these were some good and honest people. You had Nick, you had Tommy, and what about what all those smart and trustworthy YouTubers were saying? I am biased. I hope this system succeeds. Perhaps I'm a bit of a shill, but I proudly wear that as I do this shirt. I researched the Amico. I went to meet Tommy and the team multiple times. I've played this hands on multiple times. So I finally invested some serious cash. But soon after, things started to unravel. First, the Amico was delayed not once, but twice. And then even stranger things started to happen. First, Tommy tried to show the console powering on, but it took nearly a full minute to boot up to the menu screen. In another video, Tommy, again, he's the CEO, used a controller with inverted controls, but then claimed it was purposely done to fool a couple of dumb podcasters. I mean, who cares about loser podcasters? But in reality, Tommy did it to try and hide awful controller lag. 
Then there was a disastrous E3 presentation video featuring Tommy bragging about his past accomplishments, stock photos with photoshopped Amico controllers, and games featured included free web browser games, free mobile games, and demos for games that probably hadn't been worked on in a long time. Soon after, Tommy threatened a journalist with a lawsuit on Twitter for reporting about the console and saying it was similar in specs to a 2016 Android phone. But the journalist legally obtained that information from Intellivision's developer portal website, which was available via a Google search. And then Intellivision released a gameplay reveal video for Battle Tanks, or Tank Battle, but the game was using stolen art and pictures. When they were called out on it, Intellivision claimed it was placeholder graphics and re-uploaded the same video three times in order to hide the stolen assets. Intellivision also held a few demo events open to the public, but these sketchy events were not usually advertised more than a day or two before they happened. Worse, these events were used to create videos to attract investors. They featured fanboys of the CEO wearing Amico shirts and allegedly included testimonials from several actors and investors, and it was never disclosed, something that is not ethical and certainly not legal. But then it somehow got even worse. Intellivision started selling physical games, I mean physical products, their words, for a console that no longer had a realistic release date. These products consisted of cheap RFID hotel type key cards, and it was claimed that the games activated by them were NFTs, which there was no proof of, but whatever, small detail. Each game box included a lenticular card and a cheap coin. Again, Intellivision sold these physical products knowing that the console to access and play the games from them might never be released. A scummy, scammy move, but dummies still bought them. Can you believe these? I should probably point out that it's not clear if each of these eight physical product games was ever finished. Well, we know two probably were. You see, Finnegan Fox is a reskin of a 2018 game called Fox and Forest, and Evil Knievel was a 2016 mobile game that was free. I should probably also mention that they forced you to buy these in packs of four for $80 each. But wait, it gets worse. In a desperate attempt to get fresh investors to keep their company surviving, since it was bleeding cash, Intellivision released a sham console unboxing video where they pretended to open a retail Amico console box, but it was obviously a mocked up one-off with a handmade prototype system inside. In the video, you can see the engineer going through their circa 1999 menu. Whoa, different language options. Keen, there were other weird things, like a misspelling on the quick start guide. Wow, well, that's probably not a big deal though. They just misspelled the word Intellivision, the name of their company. At this point, it's safe to say that the Amico is dead and Intellivision was dishonest about how far along the console development was, deceptive to investors and the public about who was still working with the company, deceitful about the console release dates and the reasons for the delays, dishonest about some of the games being worked on for the console, and more. Huge amounts of money have been wasted due to bad decisions and incompetence. Most of the employees have been laid off and the Intellivision offices are now closed, with Tommy being personally sued for over $100,000 due to defaulting on payments for the office furniture. Meanwhile, customers that pre-ordered the console are screwed while investors seeking answers have been stonewalled. I told you that long and sad story to better explain how monumentally bad my investment was and why I can't afford Struffoli this year. But I gotta take my mind off it. So let's review a holiday NES game, a totally random one. Let's look at Snow Brothers. Snow Brothers, originally a 1990 Toaplan arcade game, it was ported and published by Capcom on the NES in 1991. Here's the story. The wicked King Scorch has transformed Princes Nick and Tom into snowmen and has kidnapped the Frost Princesses, Terry and Tina, who must be rescued. Yeah, original idea. 
Snow Brothers is a single screen action platform game where one or two players take control of snowmen twins. The objective for each of the 50 floors is to defeat all the monsters by throwing snow on them to form snowballs and then rolling the snowballs so they explode against a wall. Rolling snowballs can barrel into other enemies to create a combo effect. And you can ride the snowball around for a short bit of invincibility. It's a good strategy to go to the top of the floor and try to take out multiple enemies at one time. And you have to move quickly. If you dilly-dally in the levels, the invulnerable pumpkin head will show up and fly towards you. If a rolling snowball takes out other enemies, pickups may be dropped. There's food for extra points and power up hot sauce jars. Red gives the snowman skates to run and jump faster. Blue increases the power of the snow throws and yellow, green in the manual, increases the snow throwing distance. There are also a couple of bonus jars, including one that fills the snowman with air and allows him to float around the level to take out foes. You know who should be floating around because they're filled with hot air? All those YouTubers who gassed up the Amico. Unabashed, A+, plus, great, Amico, awesome. Holy God, that looks amazing! Really freaking amazing. This is something we haven't seen in decades. My mind was literally blown when I saw it. Have you seen this game? I've never seen a game like this on a phone. It was one of the coolest days of my professional gaming career. This is the Wii 15 years later, and it's gonna, it's gonna kill. Super, super slick. My jaw's hitting the ground, seeing how cool this game is. I had a smile just slapped on my face. I've never seen anything or experienced anything quite like this. I think the Amico is going to be a big success. It's going to be big. It's going to be real big. I have zero doubts about when this thing launches that it is going to be a hit. And I truly mean that. Hey, that guy bought another shirt. Good for him. And back to Snow Brothers. Power-ups are welcome since the difficulty ramps up quickly. The gameplay is simple, but one-hit deaths in cramped spaces make this harder than it looks. You get a few lives and a few continues, but these can be wiped out quickly if you're not on your snow toes. And when you lose a life, the power-ups are gone. By default, your snow prince doesn't move quickly, and the goofy spin jump doesn't have much height, making maneuvering a little tough. Some enemies just lumber around, but a few fire projectiles. Ugh, Tabasco breath. However, the worst is the igloo enemy, who will spin around the screen and fly at you, but while spinning, they are impervious to attack until they stop. You can try to avoid this spinning and most of the time you'll be fine, but there are other game elements that have to be avoided, like tight spaces that you can get trapped in with no way to escape. Trapped in tight spaces? That's how I felt when I ended up in those giant Amico fan chats trying to track down Tommy to get information on when the console was going to be released and where my money was. Tommy yeah, yeah, yeah. and television team has made what sure the, the people that will be What's investing in how this product here? and this system, people? Um, you're not going to be Saggy, left behind like, on, like right. some vaporware console. Tommy, there you are. And, you know, Tommy, you've been that's dodging just me. Where have you to been? Tommy's Where's my the money? Team Please, the Tommy, answer just me. Everybody, man. I had to sell so, my shirt you know, to afford it's, groceries. It's, Tommy, it's please, all, please. To be honest, that wasn't a concern for me on this console. I still don't know what a saggy melon is. Snow Brothers could seem like it would get boring, but at every 10th stage you face a boss battle, which just consists of packing snowballs from enemies or objects that the bosses eject and then throwing the balls at them. <laughs> I said balls. Well, I said balls a bunch of times already. Oh, I said it again. <laughs> balls. After defeating these monsters, the player can earn bonus points and extra lives with a slot machine mini game. Playing slots is like gambling. Just like how I gambled when I invested in a scammy game console idea. What was I thinking? Listening to those weirdos with their insider info. I never told you to invest in Republico. I never told you to invest in Start Engine. I never told you to pre-order a console if you didn't think it was going to make it. Uh-uh. I don't think so, son. It was more like us uh, talking about how much what we d we were doing but and how much we liked it. What? But it wasn't like we held people to the fire and told anyone to, to uh, do anything. I That's not how I remember it. We've got less than a day. You can do an investment um, into Amico. Why not? It's going to pay back, you know? It's going to be, uh, why wouldn't you do that? It's just, it's a no-brainer. But seriously, who wears wristbands like that still? Well, I mean, I used to, but once I got to my late 30s, I figured I'd stop or else my family would institutionalize me. 
Playing quickly while with discipline will lead to success in Snow Brothers. The layouts of the floors evolve a little bit as you progress, but it's just about the same strategy all the way through. If you make it to floor 50, you'll face dual gargoyle heads constantly spewing power-ups and other garbage at you. Spewing garbage! Just like Tommy when I finally tracked him down for a follow-up interview, thinking he would put my investing fears to rest! And they're all hardcore elitists. Not hardcore gamers, hardcore gamers like our system too, but these elitists, they're racists. They're literally gaming racists. Whoa, whoa, Tommy, Tommy, you can't just say something like gaming racist and expect the interviewer to sit silently back and just accept it. I would be talentless and irresponsible if I did that. I don't think you even know what the words literally and racist actually mean when you just use them like that. Well, I don't know, Tommy, this is already off the rails. Is this gonna get any worse? Yeah, yeah. We're having fun here. Give me a break. Uh, okay, Tommy, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, I guess. <laughs> I'm on Twitter too. Uh, I like to mix it up. I'm not afraid to, uh, to you know, to, to smack down some, some hater elites. What? Hater elites? You can't be acting like that. You're the CEO of a company. You're entrusted with millions and millions of dollars. And, and you manage a bunch of workers and employees. Hey, what's going on yeah. here? So that's a thing. Look, you know, if you if you're in the games with with blood and violence and sexual content and and kids in sexual compromising positions and rape uh, on the Nintendo, if, if 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 that's what you want, then buy a Switch. Wait, wait a second, Tommy. You can't just say things like that. What type of worthless hack would I be? If you said things like that and I didn't respond and push back, you can't just say slanderous things like that and hope to get away with it. Oh. Nintendo, I, I, I didn't say those things. I didn't say them. It, it was Tommy, Tommy Tallarico. He's the one that said them, N not me. Hey, I, hey, 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 let, let's face it, Pat. You know damn well, both me and you, if we had the opportunity to get a lap dance from the Little Mermaid, we'd be all over it. True or false? Uh, false! <laughs> what? False! It's false! What type of garbage human being, what sort of sack of shit would agree with that? Uh, the Little Mermaid is an underage children's character from Disney. I mean, what the hell? What's going on with this interview? I thought we were discussing a game console aimed at families, and now we're talking about getting lap dances by Disney characters. I I, I, I can't go on with this interview. I think I have to end it before someone sues me. Um, wouldn't that be something? I don't think that interview helped. Snow Brothers is all right. The arcade gameplay mechanics are a little unique, and it moves at a quick pace. The graphics are pretty good, and the soundtrack consists of upbeat ditties that bop. There's no real depth, but it's an above average experience for those looking for brisk arcade gaming. And the two player simultaneous action is a good time, if you can find another Snow Prince to play with. That does it for Snow Brothers. Well, I'm glad I could distract myself and you from the Amico debacle for at least a few minutes. All thanks to those lovable snowmen, Nick and Tom. Nick and Tom. Nick and Tom. Tom and Nick. Nick and Tom. Nick and Tom. Tom and Nick. In television. And what you are trying to do, Pat, is dictate the narrative on the Intellivision Amico. Learn to speak, dude. You kind of exposed yourself as a fraud, and that is disgusting. And your obsession, absolute you obsession, like. with your anti-amico crusade. So Pat doesn't understand what it takes to be successful. Just look at net worth for a start. Tommy Tallarico, who's up living the fat life. Look, I don't know you people. I, I know a couple of you people, and you're garbage fucking human beings, and you fucking know it. It's just, it's crazy. If you're gonna call me a shill, know what you're talking about. I'm looking at the definition of shill, an accomplice of a swindler who acts as an enthusiastic customer to entice or encourage others. It's a real thing that will be coming out just because it's delayed doesn't mean it doesn't exist and won't happen. So whether you love it or not, it's gonna be a success. 
I am biased, I'll admit. Am I a shill? Maybe. I'm a shill. They're saying all these games are repackaged mobile games. Who would buy them? Uh, okay. My jaw's hitting the ground. Do not buy the Intellivision Amico. I am biased. I hope this system succeeds. Perhaps I'm a bit of a shill, but I proudly wear that as I do this shirt. I've been a winner in this industry my whole career. I don't lose. Tommy said it's fully refundable, it's a hundred dollar pre-order, and if you don't want it, you can get your money back. We have the system and the hardware completed. You can do an investment um, into Amico. Why not? It's gonna pay back, you know? It's gonna be... Uh, why wouldn't you do that? It's just... It's a no-brainer. Tommy's investors will be extremely pleased. That I promise you. The rocket ship is built, folks, and we are on the launch pad headed for the stars. We just need a little more fuel to get there. Amigo! What have I done? I listened to grifting and television execs and airhead YouTubers, and now I have no money. I can't afford Struffoli, and Frank hates me. If only, if only there was a way I can come up with $180 and save Christmas. But there, there isn't a way. Or is there? I will pay you $200, Pat if the Intellivision Amico does not sell over a million copies within its first year. And I've done some research on this, and it's gonna be a close call. Yes, it's a miracle! Christmas is saved thanks to someone even dumber than me! Wow, I, I didn't know one of the wise men was an alien. Yeah, makes sense, maybe. Merry Christmas, Frank! I got the Struffoli! Patrick, you finally came through. You didn't drop the ball. <laughs> there it is. All right, yeah, we got the Struffoli. We got it, we got it. Oh! <laughs> Frank, why, why did you punch me? <laughs> I belted you because you invested in television, you bum. <sighs> okay, that, that makes sense. Uh, come on, quit your belly aching. It's almost time for antipasta. Come on, walk it off. A Merry Christmas, Frank. You asshole. Are you going to stay on the floor till New Year's Eve or what? For Struffoli and Italian pastries, check out Circo's Pastry Shop. Circo's, since 1945. Okay, everybody. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Do you enjoy the Struffoli, Frank? Of course. I, I, I like the uh, Shruya Dells better, but that's okay. Everybody has their favorite. Did you, did you enjoy punching me in the gut a few times? Well, I, I held up. I didn't want to break any ribs. <laughs> so you're afraid of? Well, I'm afraid of really hurting you. Oh, come on. I can take it. Come on. Oh, man. See, now he's getting on me. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't say that before we shot it. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas! Right. And I assure you, I'm not foreshadowing anything at all. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta set my VCR for the Ancient Alien Hollywood Special. Hollywood Special, I said. <laughs> That's fine. I'm an idiot. Blah, 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 but we're just having some fun here. And I won't fold like a cheap suit if the Intellivision CEO offers me a ride in his Ferrari. I, I just don't see that happening. <laughs> I'm not great on social media. I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have Twitter etiquette, sorry. Do I just criticize him for shits and giggles? A little bit. Some YouTuber who's sitting in the basement with another nerd named Ian? Yeah, you're oh. so uptight. <laughs> Pat, what have you run in your life? This portion of the CU podcast is sponsored by the following. I just started streaming retro game radio over at youtube.com slash game test play. Hundreds of the hottest tracks, some of it pretty obscure. So go to youtube.com slash game test play. That's youtube.com slash game test play to discover hidden gems.
Um, oh, please. I mean, t- take a freaking joke, people. Like, seriously, take a joke. 